So commonly used. Pressures. Number one, absolute pressure. Number two, gauge pressure. And number three, vacuum pressure. Okay, what is absolute pressure? What is gauge pressure? What is vacuum pressure? So the absolute pressure is the pressure at any given position. Um, actual pressure at a given position. Gauge pressure is the difference between absolute pressure and local atmospheric pressure. And vacuum pressure is pressures lower than local pressures. So absolute pressure, the form, the, the symbol for it is P absolute. Gauge pressure is P gauge. And this is P vacuum. So there are two formulas that relate each of them to each of them with each other. So those are gauge ATM and vacuum. This is used for pressures above ATM, and this is used for pressures below atmospheric pressures. What do you car tires need to be? 40? 32, right? Depends on the tire. Okay. What happens between winter and summer? You need to fill them up in the winter. You need to fill them up in the winter. Why is that? Because the air in your tires contracts. Because of thermal contraction. What kind, out of these three, what do you think that pressure that you're measuring is? Gauge. Also, have you ever noticed, like, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but if you go from sea level to up in the mountains within the day, your pressure will change. Because the gauge pressure is the pressure related to the local atmosphere. So at sea level, you were at one ATM. Up in the mountain, you are lower than one ATM. So that changes as you go. I, I really like studying this. This is so much fun. Okay. Um, there are examples in the book, but I highly recommend that you guys do those. 